This video is about helping you solve a problem when a new log source is not working well. And if not, how to best prepare you to send the case to IBM support so you get a quick resolution. So let's go into the log source management app. And let's use an example. This is a new version. I'm going to work on not with the DLC. I did a video on the DLC before and let's say that I'm working with the Cisco Firepower app and the reason I'm choosing that is one of the modern ones and the modern ones have this test button right so let's say that I'm I'm gonna be uh, performing a test and I'm gonna make some changes on purpose I'm gonna put information here that has run for example I'm gonna go instead of calling this the key store I'm going to click edit here and I'm going to make a intentional mistake or put in here a different name or let's say that is a different port a different uh, this is the remote address where I should be getting the logs and I click here I don't need again don't click save you don't need to and then go ahead and perform the test and you click here start test and I get a an error here and it's telling me what is it that the nature is that, that 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 file does not exist also when you click on this wheel you have the option of click debug message right and that remains on in there let's say that you fix that problem again you're, you are testing this thing now you so you put the right name and you and you proceed with the actual test again no need to do save and you restore the test now we'll see that we're going to be passing that hurdle but we get another one here right and notice that because I have the debug option I get uh, more details in fact I believe that if I switch this here yeah you, I get less information but let's say that uh, in this particular case I know what it is this is the remote uh, the Cisco Firepower remote uh, device that is not sending me the data anymore. But if this, if I cannot figure out what this is all about, well, what you can do is the following: click here, and that's have saved the that file test result. Let's actually take a look at it. And as you see, there's plenty of detail that the people at IBM support will find very, very useful. But also, what you can do to make sure that there are not many iterations. Oh, now you need to send me this. Now you need to send me that. Let's, you know, then both both parties are interested in solving this in the fastest way. What you can also do is get the curator logs, and probably you know this already. But just in case that you don't know it, you go again to the admin tab, go into system and license management. And if this is a log source, because in my case it's just the console, I don't have any uh, event collector, I'm going to select that one. But if if you have an event collector, select that one. And if you have more than one, you just click control and select, you know, whatever, uh, where the log source is actually connected to. And what you're going to do is just click here on the action and click collect logs and go into advanced options. At the very least, put here set up logs for the developer. If you want to add some more stuff, uh, go ahead and do it. If you just run the test, put here one day to keep this file smaller. If this happened three days ago, of course, put here three days and click here collect uh, log files. This is going to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to post the video until that completes. So once that finishes, you get this click here to download the file now you can add those two files the one that we got from the log source management app, manager app management app and this one put them into the ticket that you open and this should at least eliminate some itera iteration going back and forth asking you for additional things and you should have a faster resolution to your logs or issue 